Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Sifu. Sifu is a third-person action martial arts game. As for the story, you're about to see that right now. What the? Oh, nothing. What's going on? Who are you? Get out of my way. Leave him to me. <laughs> are you the best they have to offer? It's not good for you. Yeah, that's basic combat. <laughs> I thought you said they'd put up a fight. I'm barely breaking a sweat. Sweep the place. Nobody leads. Sure. All right, and then just tell him you gotta run, but I'm already doing that. Who the hell is that? Get him now! Ah. Yang! How dare you set foot in here again! You should never have come back. What are you gonna do about it? Nice to see you. It's been a while. Get him! <laughs> I was trying to throw them all in there, that was good. Come on. Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta admit, you lasted a while. Good job. <laughs> Hoodie guy. Where is he? Guess he doesn't talk. Yang, of course. You've gotten slow, Sifu. You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. Whoa, he stunned me. I strike. All 
Alright, that didn't go quite as I wanted. When I look into your eyes, I see nothing but a frightened, angry child. Yeah, I'll explain the mechanics more when we're out of the tutorial. Ooh. Show yourself. So this is where you get to decide whether you are male or female. Uh, it has no effect on the story except for your appearance and your uh, voice actor. So, uh, first time I played, I played as male, so I'm gonna play as female just to see all the. Uh, well, I guess just to hear the different lines. The botanist. So there you go, after you parry, you can throw people. The fighter. Avoid high attacks, avoid low attacks. The artist. Palm strike. Palm strike's hard to pull off because you have to be super close in order to do it, but it's a good move for follow-ups. No, you don't always you don't have to finish them with the move. If they run out of health, they'll die also. The CEO. Ah! 
the leader. I strike. Sifu. Th this is an extremely fun game. Uh, it is also very hard, but I've played it for enough hours that I'm hoping I can just breeze through it during this recording. Present day. They tried to kill me. They failed. And now, it's time for revenge. Looks like I did inherit some uh, <laughs> the property from my father over. There's a shrine for his memory. But yeah, it's been eight years. I am 20 years old now. Uh, so there's a skill system. I guess I'll explain this all as you go. I'm gonna probably fumble a little bit because I'm so used to having all these skills that I'm gonna forget what I don't have. But basically you get experience and then you can unlock these skills. Uh, if you... When you die, you, like, lose the skills, but if you unlock one skill three times, or five times, you get it forever, even if you die, no matter what you do. Uh, I could have done a New Game Plus mode where I had all of those skills, and I thought about doing that, but I don't know, I kind of want to start fresh. And hell, nice little conspiracy board over here. I'm not going to look around too much. I think we're going to look here at my first target. This used to be an industrial district once... Work dried up, everyone left. Gangs took over, and it became a no-go zone. The squats is what it's called. That's where I will be going next. There's also these uh, that explain all the game mechanics. I'm just going to flip through them if you want to read them, but I'm going to be explaining it throughout the game. But, you know, I might miss some things. So I figure, just for completionist's sake, I should, like, you know, show everything. But basically... I have a magic amulet. I, can I see it? Yeah, it's hanging from my belt right there. That's why I didn't die. When I should die, I can come back to life. However, every time I come back to life, I age. And if I age too much, I won't be able to come back. There's my uh, hit list. We are first going after the botanist. There he is. Machete. Mustache. Who? <laughs> He's the guy who cut my throat that night. First on my list, he works for the gangs as a botanist, and never leaves the warehouse. Let's go. I've been training straight for eight years. Am I powerful enough to defeat them? I guess we'll see. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. Need to find another way inside. Get lost. Nothing here for you. Oh? Perry. So you might notice that there's two different life bars. There's a white life bar, which is their actual life bar. That's decreasing there. But there's also this yellow bar. If you get the yellow bar down to... Or, or max out the yellow bar. Like, the, the white bar decreases, yellow bar increases. That's their structure. They will not be able to defend themselves for a little bit if you break their structure. And then you can do a finishing move. Now, you can actually climb up this wall right here to skip a little bit of the level, but why skip? I'm going to go through. Then you notice there's a door over here. Can't do it. Now, a lot of times you'll do something. <laughs> it says, locked until we beep, beep, say so. Uh, you can look at things and you'll get things for the conspiracy board. This is actually a quick thing. because th This game is kind of made so that you have to play levels over and over again to get better. So, it, it's not a straight shot, though. Like, you can, um, a pipe. I didn't know that was there. And I've played through this level a million times. Um, uh. <laughs> Later on, uh, I can just go through that door to skip a large part of the level. There is kind of a consequence for doing that on most Came levels, but... Wrong place, pal. Did I? Because you're the one getting beaten with a pipe. Junkies. I don't think there'll be a problem. If I had climbed up the wall, I would be right here. You see, that's the beginning. So yeah, there's little shortcuts. I can't believe there's a pipe there. Holy crap. I didn't think you got a pipe until way later on. Boom! Now, if someone is not aware of you, you can hit them and 
instantly break their structure. It's basically sneak attack damage. But the basic structure, we got your light attacks. That's a light attack combo. You got your strong attacks. That generally do more damage. I can make it. Just need to run at it. Hut! Fuck you doing in here, pal? And then there's different combos of each that do different things. When you have a weapon though, um oh I strike. When you have a weapon, all your combos are different and you do more damage. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I, I blocked that kind of, but it's a it's a glass bottle. It's hard to block those. And I only have basic moves right now. I think, uh, you can see it says age 20. These are all the moves I have. It looks like you start out with sweep and palm strike. That's why they taught them to you. Um, oh, and you start out with these too. I should try them. Because I, like, never try these. <laughs> uh, directional throw. While running. What is that? Okay, interesting. That's a different attack. Just gonna take this bottle. Bottles are one-use weapons. Open up. That you can either bash over someone's head. Or throw. That was cool. There we go. If someone has a weapon, you can use a trip move and they'll instantly drop it. Now, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this entire scene is an homage to the movie Old Boy. Uh, there's a there's a fight, like, probably the most famous fight in the movie, where he, he just got out of captivity for a long time, and he's testing out his martial arts on a gang. And it, the, it's shot exactly like this. He's, he's fighting, like, 30 guys armed with nothing but a hammer. Ow. I died already? That's actually highly disappointing. I guess I'm a bit out of uh, practice here. This is your death counter increases by one after each death. I was hoping to be really cool and not die at all this level. Um, but at the screen, I can actually get new skills. Uh, I think I want Snap Kick. I use that a lot. I didn't get it. <laughs> all right, I'll have, I'll have another opportunity to get it. But my death counter is added to my age. So I only have a death counter of one right now. So now I am 21. Round two. Round two. Oh. That went okay. <laughs> I'll get snap kick next time. Yeah, you can either level up when you die. There's also shrines, and shrines are their whole thing. I'm gonna have to explain that. Last bag's on his way to you. Cool. Talk once we wrap this up. Didn't quite sneak attack him. So yeah, there's your focus gauge. You can use focus attacks. You can get more later on. I'm gonna take this. It's a broom. Counts as a staff weapon. Surprise! <laughs> that was definitely sneak attack damage. You see her trying to block? <laughs> Didn't exactly work out for her. Ooh, blocked it. Nope. Ooh, okay, so sometimes when you finish people, instead of dying, uh, they'll turn into what are called elites. Uh, I believe they'll do more damage, but even... I, I don't know if it's more damage or just better moves, but yeah. Tons of life, too. We want to kill everyone but the elite so we can fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and you notice my death counter went down. If you do really well after dying, uh, you'll lower your death counter. Ooh. Need to start dodging. There we go. Also, when you um, take someone out, you will gain some health. And I think you gain even more health if you use a finishing move on them. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. And this is my first shrine. There are three shrines per level. 
You don't want to miss them. These are like your only opportunity to upgrade. So there are three types of upgrades. There's ones that you need a certain age requirement to be under. So once I'm over 25, I won't be able to increase my weapon durability anymore. Then there's score. That's my level score that I've acquired so far. I have over 4,000, so I can get these two. Then there's experience. I can use experience that I would be using to unlock skills to get these. Note, you should never decrease your death counter. At all. It costs a lot of experience, and if you're doing that unpoorly, it's better to just go back to the level and do better. I think to start off with, I'm going to... I think on your first playthrough, when you're first learning, it's really good to get health gained on takedowns. It'll help you keep yourself alive before you get to the boss and not, like, be all aged up and injured before you get there. Because the bosses can cause some trouble. <laughs> but... There you go. <laughs> you can also throw people off things if you didn't say. Oh, and I forgot once again to get skills. Ridiculous. Another jump here. I can make it. I, I, I gotta I gotta use my experience here. <laughs> oh well. At least I'll have more experience, a lot more variety. Shame, I'll have to throw you back through it. We'll see about that. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so this part, basically a throw to, uh, throw avoidance tutorial. If you dodge down at the right time, you can avoid throws. And you want to avoid throws. They do uh, a lot of damage. Uh, and here's the thing. It may seem overwhelming because there's high attacks and there's low attacks. Uh, most attacks, you can just hit down and she'll dodge them. And then you'll dodge like all attacks except for low attacks, which will hit you. And once I realized that, uh, the game became a lot easier. <laughs> like side attacks, just hit down dodge. Um, obviously high attacks and throws hit down dodge. It'll dodge so much. And then you just need to look out. Stealth. <laughs> then you just need to look out for low attacks. That's my number one tip for you if you're having trouble. Come on, come on, speed this up. I don't want to be late for the club. Surprise. Ah, it was, it was during a throw. You can't hit me during a throw. That's cheating. Uh. Come on. Need to hit him while he's down. Damn it. He got back up. Uh, your structure can also be broken, by the way. They won't finish you, but they'll do a bunch of damage to you. So, in general, you want to be careful with that. Good. He wasn't in a lead. I was worried. Uh, but if you dodge attacks, your structure actually um, increases a bit. Okay. Can I get him before he gets up? Nope. Ah. <laughs> All right, there we go. I threw the pipe at him. You generally don't want to be hit against a wall either. That'll do additional damage to you. Whatever. That one, okay. Now, if you're in a cle uh, completionist sword, you're also going to want to look around for, um, let's see... Club fire for the burning. That's where I hope to face Sean. I overheard one of the thugs talking about something going down there tonight. But yeah, if, you, if you're a completionist start, you want to look around to try to find the different conspiracy board things. You do get an achievement for it also. And some of them are by finding objects like that. Some of them are just by, like, initiating conversations. Yep. Thugs, and yet they know how to fight. Street experience, I guess. He says that... But honestly, like, everyone in this game knows martial arts. You see a bellhop, you see a cook, they're gonna know martial arts, so you gotta be careful. Um, some of the things to complete the board, by the way, you need to go to other stages and then come back. This game only has five stages, but it's really based off of, like, completing stages, like, perfectly. Now, here is an optional door, but you're gonna want to use it, because there's a shrine back there. And those are how you get your upgrades. Here. With great difficulty. And I bet your keys could have made things a lot easier. Don't even think about it, asshole. This look What was that? Uh, I should probably have not done that because you can only get this conversation once and then never again. But whatever. Because <laughs> the conversation is different once you already have the keys. If you get an item like keys, you do keep them. So those were the Skull Brothers. <laughs> now that I've defeated them, I've gotten another entry about them. They're in charge of security. So there's the keys. I can now open that door and skip 
a large part of the level. But if you do that, you'll miss shrines. It's mainly for getting to the, the boss as quick as possible. But alright, open skill tree because I want to actually get skills because I keep on forgetting. Now I can get uh, anything now because I have this much experience. So that's cool. Um, so what do I want the most is the question. I really like raining strikes. It's fun. We'll get that. And... Environmental mastery is so good. I need that. It really... There's certain entire rooms that are... Like that one guy that was throwing me, there's a bunch of bags of money. You can just kick all the bags of money in his face. Like, it makes certain things weapons that aren't weapons. Now, you can only unlock these skills if you're under, I think, 25 or 27. If you're over that, you won't be able to unlock them anymore. And then it goes like 30, 40, and eventually you won't be able to unlock anything. But you can just keep on going back to previous stages. Because you'll notice there's these five bars of permanent unlock. I have unlocked one bar of permanent unlock. So you keep on playing the stages, you'll get all the skills. No matter how well you, or <laughs> how, how well or not well you do. And I think we're going to get... I mean, I'm telling you... It, I'm gonna change... I'm gonna respec my character, but I'll explain all that later. But for right now, take down. All right. Let's go. Metal gate. Keeps their dirty money safe. Got a pipe with your guys' names on it. Bam! So she wasn't suspecting anything, so I was able to stealth kill her. Almost there. Need to get through that door. Come on, quicker! We have a city to deliver to. Smash! Should be a little bit easier without those two gone. Or without those two there. Boom! Alright, three stealth attacks. That <laughs> should make things a bit easier. Because this is one of the harder rooms. Just because there's so many guys. Bam! So you notice I just kicked the weapon without picking it up. And also there's a chair here. Boom. <laughs> That's why environmental mastery is like one of my favorite things. More things that you can use as weapons in the room. Definitely a good thing. More options. Good thing. Strike! Oh crap, he's the elite. And there's a lot of guys around me, so this could be bad. There we go. Bottle to the face. Chair to the face. <laughs> Woo! Oh god. Palm strike. <laughs> oh crap. Go, 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 go. Boom! I strike. She can't keep up. Dodge, he's almost done. Elite my ass. <laughs> we'll take that. Let me just look around, see if there's any uh, items of interest. I don't think so, though. Oh, there's one right there. Purple flower. Flower used to create purple mist. Yeah, these guys are all drug dealers. <laughs> Dealing all the drugs. What is that? Didn't know that was there. I'm just noticing all types of things. I don't know why I'd want to go back up there, but the fact that you can is cool. Boss said nobody gets through. If George stays alone. I don't care what your boss said. I'm going through the door. <clears throat> all right then. So I think there was more dialogue there, but if you attack before he's done speaking, it's a sneak attack because they weren't expecting me to attack. So, you know, sometimes you play a little bit dirty. What are you going to do? <laughs> Alright, and now, my level score. Would have been higher if I didn't die, probably, but final shrine. Again, there's three shrines. The last one is always right before the boss. So even if you skip some of the level, um, you know, you'll always get at least one. And you carry your upgrades throughout the stage. That's why it's important that you find all of them. Now... 
Parry impact. Very hard to get one if you skip any of the level, and two if you don't do well. So when I can get it, I usually get it because it's very good. They, they take increased structure damage. You might notice that some guys get their structure broken. I can finish them just because I blocked them. I didn't even strike them. So those are my skills. Let's go on. It's gonna be a little reunion. Another key card. Uh, I think I don't I don't remember what door that's to, <laughs> but. This door, you actually can't open it until you do the last stage in the game. It's it's kind of weird. They do have things like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll open it, but not until the last episode. You're sure it's flipping out, bro? So I blocked him, but I didn't dodge. Almost got a full combo on him. There we go. I strike! So, you know, he also has a structure gauge. I need to either deplete his structure gauge or his life. Either one is fine. Woo! Dodge! Woo! That would have done a lot of damage to me. Oof. Snap kick? I don't have snap kick yet. Raging strikes! That is one of the abilities I unlocked. He's on the ropes. Gotcha! Round two, you have to defeat every boss twice. Now I happen to know that there's always a weapon right here. Ah. Ooh. I want my weapon back. I strike. Oh god. Dodge. <laughs> Alright, my weapon's broken. But it did its job. Woo. Cool, parried him. Uh, I don't think I can strike him when he's flying. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh god, come on. You're done. I have spent eight long years preparing for this. Did to him what he did to me. When you defeat one of your targets, you go back to your home.
So from here, you can level up, look at your board. Uh, you can do the tutorial by going here. Uh, it, it's good to brush up on this stuff. It's, it's, most of it's very important. But from here, you can spend any extra experience you have. So I'm going to unlock... I need to unlock my other, my other crazy attacks, I think, so... Uh, weapon catch is good, but let me, let me see. Fi so, there are different focus attacks associated with weapons that do more damage than your standard ones. I think those are very good to have. Uh, this is my favorite focus attack, though. When I don't have a weapon, though, you knock them on the ground. It's good because you can do follow-up attacks, even though its initial damage isn't that great. It'll also knock weapons out of people's hands. This one's for the staff. Snap Kick is a really good initiator. Forward, forward attack. Uh, cover some distance. It's good to get the first hit. Space Bash is for if we have a pipe. I could have used that numerous times if I hit it. And Weapon Catch. If someone throws something at you, you can catch it. Now you have it, you can throw it back or use it. Very good. So, that is it for that. I do want to, like, show where all the board item stuff is, but I think this is enough for this episode. I usually like, uh, first episodes of things to be a bit, like, longer, but, um, you know. <laughs> also, I don't know why his name isn't crossed off. Usually, you cross off names as you kill people, but for some reason it's just not. I think if you go to the board, though... There's an X through him right now, so there's that. Um, I may figure out how to get these uh, next time. There, there's also a trick with uh, going back and like doing better, because you keep your age. I'm 31, I'm gonna be 31 for the next stage, because I died once. But you can actually respec your character and keep your age low individually. So I'll, I'll do that next time. This should be more than enough to tell whether you like the game or not. I, I love it. I've played it a lot. I was just like, this is hard, but I'm going to put in the time to get good at it so I can beat it because I'm enjoying it. So it's good when a, one of those hard games can do that. In any case, I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, as always, to my lovely patrons. And I will see you next time as we face Sean, the fighter. See you there.